So instead of jumping from one treadmill to the next, we need no treadmill. Or no treadmill, exactly. If we could, that would... Or that treadmill is something into another space, which is a more socio-cultural space rather than technological, material, physical space. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even know what words to describe it. But not to have a treadmill. But the question then is, then the, the, the question that it begs is the one that I said a few moments ago, without a treadmill, whether it's accelerating or not, can we in fact survive? You know, what is it that's, that's driving us and so on? Because, you know, we no longer, we haven't lived in harmony with the biosphere for, you know, over 10,000 years, which by the way is nothing, of course, needless to say, is a blip. And one of the questions I sometimes ask is, you know, is, is this some diabolical experiment in natural selection that was just destined to last about 10,000 years, of which we were very fortunate to be part of, but in fact is going to disappear and, you know, some other experiment will be done, you know, um, maybe presumably with human beings again. I mean, will some human beings will, I, well, unless we have some horrific nuclear war, I suppose, but uh, uh, human beings will survive and we'll try some other route or maybe we're destined to go on doing this. I don't know. 